you can tell when someone really cares about the thing that they're working on, whether it is a song or a video game or a movie, you can tell if they have passion for that project. If they care about what they are doing, you can sense that. And that energy conveys itself from them into what they're doing. And you can feel that energy coming back to you as you're sitting there watching that movie or reading that book or listening to that song or playing that game. You can feel that energy coming back to you. That, that positive energy. So you can tell when a game is made by somebody who cares about what they're doing, who cares about the project they're making. You can feel it right in here, right in here, deep in here. You can feel it. And you felt this before with games that were made with care by developers who have a passion for what they're making. It doesn't have to be perfect. Games that are made by developers who are passionate about what they're doing doesn't necessarily have to be a perfect game. They, it can be a buggy mess. And then there are games that are made by people who really don't have any passion for their work. Who don't care. It's just a job to them. Or their work conditions are just absolutely horrible. And we've heard horror stories. You know, no bathroom breaks, for instance. Severe crunch time. And I'm not just talking about CD Projekt Red. EA, Activision, even Blizzard, Ubisoft. All the big AAAs, they, they do it. And you can tell when those games that they make are not made by people who are passionate about their work. Oh, well, they might be great cinematic experiences, but that energy, that positive energy that comes through, you don't get that. You're not getting that energy. And you can tell, you can really tell when it's not there. Now, that energy can also be conveyed in other ways. It can also be conveyed in how a game developer interacts with their player community, how they treat the people who play their games, the people who are their customers. Like, you know, do they make YouTube videos? Do they interact with their community in any way? How, how are they when they are online and live streaming and interacting with their community, talking with them, answering questions, uh, just conveying their product? You know, showing people their product and and saying, you know, this is this is what we're making and. Do you like it? And, and all that. And all that in a video. And you can tell when they're doing that, whether they enjoy what they're doing. Now, if you, for instance, look at videos from Frontier Developments. Now, Frontier Developments is a company some of you might know. They are the makers of Elite Dangerous. In fact, they recently released a new update to the game called Odyssey. And right now it is got a mostly negative rating on Steam at the moment. It is I'm not going to go too deeply into it. Uh Tigercon is playing the game and he's going to have some he's going to have some choice words for Frontier about it very soon. But when you watch their live streams, 
there is no passion. There's none. They are, they barely even know how to play their own game. They barely know how to do anything in their own game. It's like, do you even play the game you make? Do you even listen to your community or what they're trying to tell you? And they don't. And that is the sheer sign of a game developer that has no passion for what they are doing, for no passion for their project, who really don't care. It's just a job to them. Then there is another example, a more positive example. And I, I want to show this to you. Last weekend, Square Enix held a Final Fantasy fan fest. And it was a live streamed two day event because of the human malware situation. So they couldn't have a large audience. They had a very small limited audience of people limited to a few guests and some crew members. And it was a great event. We got a lot of information about the new expansion and Walker. And there was a piano concert at the end of day two, day one. And then the primals, the rock band by Masayoshi Soken came out and performed a lot of music from the game. It was a great two days, absolutely stellar, stellar live stream. They, it was, if you wanted to see what passion looks like, just watch those two live streams. Go go to the Final Fantasy XIV site on YouTube and watch those two live streams. That's an excellent example of developers who are passionate about what they're doing. But the best example, the, the best example, came at the end of day two. When everybody came out, Naoki Yoshida came out, the... the a director, producer, and all the heads of staff, and Masayoshi Soken, who is just the, the music master of Final Fantasy XIV, came out. And Soken had this announcement. あの、ちょっとこう、皆さんが見てる前で、あの、ちょっと詩的なことをお伝えしなきゃいけなくて、あの、ちょっと恐縮ですけども、聞いてください。all right, um, so um, I've asked uh, for a few moments of your time today um, to talk about something uh, about my personal life. So first and foremost, um, I'm here today because I want to thank all of you. So um, it was about uh, last year uh, in March, right before uh, the Primals um, had planned to do a, a concert in Toyosu in uh, Japan. And the coronavirus uh, pandemic had just started to pick up. And I was diagnosed uh, with cancer at that time. で、and, um, I didn't really tell anyone at that time. あの、実は And so um, until about October of last year, uh, I spent uh, approximately uh, 6 or 7 months um, in a hospital room. で、何が感謝かと言いますと、あの、その時もですね、あの、腐らずにこう、お前は腐らずにやれっていうことで、えっと、社長と吉田直樹とこの上層部のメンバーが便宜を図ってくれまして、特別な体制を取ってくれました。
And so they worked it out so we could have a special arrangement while I was in the hospital. そして、変わらず接してくれたサウンドスタッフがいて、なんとか、がんを克服できるかなってことだったんですけども、And I also had a lot of support、um, from my sound team、uh, as well. And, and with that,、um, I spent those months、um, trying to、uh, fight this cancer. あのー、やっぱ抗がん剤という薬は非常に強力な薬で、あのー、ちょっと精神が参ってしまう時が多々ありました。キモテラピー、as a lot of you know,、um, was really tough for me, and、uh, really、tough as well as physically tough. ですが、パッチ 5.3 ちょうど出して、2DH がちょうど出た頃なんですけども、プレイヤーのみんなが、シャドウリンガーズをあのプレイして感動したと言ってくれて励みになってがんを克服することができました。For all those months, and finally, we were able to release 5.3 Bong to the Edge. And seeing the reactions of all of the players from around the world, it helped me conquer this cancer. In the case of the world, the world is a very good thing. The world is a very good thing. The world is a very good thing. The world is a こんな感じで、昨日今日とステージに立たせてもらいました。本当に、このステージに帰ってこれたのも、そこで後ろ向いてる吉田直樹と、それから昨日帰っちゃった社長と、<笑>それから多くの人事の偉いさんと、それからサンドのスタッフが、本当に協力してくれたおかげです。And so,、um, I'd like, I'm happy to say、um, that I asked my doctor if I could go out, and he said yes, because the cancer, luckily, is in remission right now, almost in full remission. And that's why I'm able to stand here today, because of all the power I've got from everyone from Yoshida Naoki, who supported me, from CEO and President Matsuda san, who supported me, from all, the, all, of the, all of those great people、um, in our HR department that made it possible for me to continue working and, and get through this and then return here in front of you. そしてさっきも言ったようにプレイヤーの皆さんがプレイしてゲームをプレイして楽しかったよと感動したよって言ってくれた言葉が一番心に響きましたなので you, players, comments, love, ゲームっていうエンターテインメントはこう人の心も救えるんだなっていうふうにすごく思いました。Realized, really, you know, これからもいいゲームを作っていくように精進しますんで、皆さん楽しんでってください。On out, to ありがとうございました。This man, this man has so much passion for the project he's working on that while he was going through chemotherapy for cancer, he wanted to continue working. He didn't want to be treated any different from anyone else. He asked Yoshi P not to tell anyone on the development staff that he was sick. He didn't want anyone else to know. He didn't want to be treated any differently. He didn't want to slow down production of the game. He didn't want to disappoint the fans. That was his motivation. That was his motivation not to disappoint anybody. And so while he was in a lot of pain being treated for cancer, he was working on the 
song for the end of patch 5-3. And doing that work, having a reason to live, doing that work, and then seeing the outpouring, the just outpouring love from the community for that music, that music in that, that final battle with Elidibus helped him pull through helped him get through the pain and his cancer is now in remission and he's back and he was up there on stage just dancing around you know during the piano concert and and he was up there on stage just just rocking his heart out with the primals That's passion, ladies and gentlemen. That is passion. And then you saw uh, Naoki Yoshida's reaction to all this. He 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 lost one friend to cancer, and he had another friend who had cancer, and he was. It. I I know what it's like for people who go through chemo chemotherapy. I have known people who have gone through it chemotherapy is devastating on the body it's devastating on the, on the on for your family going through it too and I, I i i am i i'm having trouble finding the right words just to convey to you just how incredible this is this is what true passion for your work, true passion for your work, true care for your community looks like. We don't see that from EA or Activision or Ubisoft. We don't see that ever. Yet we saw that from small dev team in Square Enix. Oh, I think it's about a few thousand developers, but still, we saw that from the dev team of an MMO from Japan. Now, a little game that failed when it first launched, and now it's beating the crap out of World of Warcraft. Why can't other game companies be like this? Why can't they have passion for what they're doing? This, this, this kind of dedication, this kind of passion, this kind of care for what they're doing, for this kind of love for their work and their community. Why can't we have this? Think on that. Next time you go and you decide to buy the next Call of Duty, or the next battlefield or or the next iteration in these long running game franchises think to yourself did i really feel that passion from those past iterations of the game or were they just soulless spectacles where i really didn't feel the passion coming through to me Was there any real care in what they were doing? Was it just a job to them? Think about that. I've been the professor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.